Hey everybody and welcome to it. Today we're going to be talking about Google Chrome extensions and if you don't know what those are, they're basically little things you can add onto Google Chrome, which is an app you have to have downloaded on your laptop. It's kind of an alternate to like Safari. And these little things that you can add onto them called extensions can just help you out in multiple different ways. There's different ones for different purposes. So today we're going to be talking about ones that can help you stay productive and be organized. And at the end of this video, I will also be showing you how to customize your Google Chrome if you are interested in that. I always get so many questions about how I can make my Google Chrome pink and have little groups at the top, so I'll show you that at the end as well. So we're gonna go ahead and just get right on into this. So the way to download these Chrome extensions, I will show you really quick before we even start. You go up to this top on Chrome where it says apps, click that, and then go to web store. Then from here, you can look through and search the ones that I'm about to talk about that you're interested in downloading. So to download it, you would just click the add to Chrome button. So the first one I have for you is pretty forward. Um, it helps you stop getting distracted. It's called Angry Study Helper and it is hilarious. So if you actually open up a new tab and if you're doing something, it will pop up with this to get you to realize that you are opening up a new tab to get yourself distracted and make you go back to your work. So I'll just show you right here what it will do. <laughs> Next up, we have one called Forest, and this one kind of just helps you stay on track with your task. So you can set a timer for a certain amount of time, 25 minutes up to like hours and stuff for you, like if you're going to be studying or if you're working on a homework assignment, and it will help you like grow a tree and grow a forest by completing the tasks without getting on a different website. So it lets you make block lists, so you can block some websites from it to like keep you from getting on them. So if I was on Canvas working on homework assignments, I could block YouTube and Instagram.com on the block list. And so if I got onto the one of those websites while I was had the timer going for my task, it will kill the tree and I have to start all over. That one is kind of like the um, Flora app on your iPhone, the kind of the same idea, but this one literally has control of your tabs and everything to keep you in line. So I think that's a really helpful one for productivity um, just because you can sit down and say, okay, I'm gonna work on this paper for the next 30 minutes and then you can grow a little tree and it just keeps you focused that way. The next one that I have for you is called Momentum. I've heard lots of great things about this one. So far, it's been working out well for me. I love it because you can completely customize it, but only if you really have the plus and pay for that, which I am not doing that. But basically, it has the time, it says good afternoon, and then it asks you like what your main priority is for the day. You can add some quotes, you can add fun little things to it. Um, you can really customize this a lot, which is what's really fun about this one. You can like add to-do lists into it. There's just so much to help you be productive about this one, so highly recommend this one. Looks like if I want to get a custom photo for the background, I have to pay for Momentum Plus, which I'm not really interested in doing, so we're rocking the space theme for now, but that's just a really cool one that you could definitely utilize to be super productive if you're interested. The next one that I have for you is called Mail Track, and basically it just shows you fun things about your mail first off, but um, the thing that I like the most about it is that it shows you when people have read your emails or opened them, which is really nice and can help you be productive. If you're expecting a message back from somebody, but they open it and never responded, you can not have to spend your time thinking about that message anymore and you can move on, so I just feel like it's a really helpful tool. There's one called Todoist, and this one is basically a little to-do list in your Google Chrome, which is so nice. You can just go up and click it at the top and it shows you the whole list of everything that you have to do that day. So I like it especially because you can put a task and then you can make subtasks under it. So I put one as I need to film my Amazon favorites video and then under it I have find all the favorite items throughout my house and bring them into my room pick out an outfit, stuff like that. Um, so that's really fun, especially when it comes to probably like actual homework assignments where I have to like do some research and stuff before I do the assignment. Overall, just a fun, neat little tool. One that I found really helpful is called Picture in Picture. And basically this one just allows you to put a video or picture in your tab that you're on. So I personally like to use this one whenever I'm responding to comments. I like to watch a YouTube video while I'm doing this and this really is helpful so that I can find the YouTube video that I want to watch, put it with the picture-in-picture -picture, um, extension and drag it over 
onto my comments and then start responding to comments while watching the video. It's really awesome. Um, I'm sure you could use this for like homework too. So whenever you are writing a paper and have to watch a video for the paper, I think that would be really helpful as well. There's one called a speed test and it sounds really weird and confusing at first, uh, but when you look into it, it's actually a way to check how fast your internet speed is at the moment. So I just checked mine and I think this is really helpful for whenever you are about to take an exam online and you don't want your Wi-Fi to quit out on you in the middle of the exam. Or if for me, I like to upload my YouTube videos, so I want to upload it at the best time where it'll be the quickest if I'm like in a rush or something. So I think it's always just a nice tool to be able to check the speed of your internet. So there you go. <laughs> this next one is called Relaxing Sounds and basically it's just a bunch of like white noise sounds that you can play off of your Chrome whenever you're doing something. So like I get really distracted when I'm doing homework so I have to either listen to music or some relaxing sounds to keep myself focused. But this one has so many fun different ones. I'm just going to put their screen recording up here with the audio so you can hear all of the fun little relaxing sounds. <laughs> This next one is called Posture Minder. So it helps remind you to fix your posture whenever you're working or doing homework. So you can set the reminder however many minutes apart you want them. They also have some that can remind you to walk do. You can have it play a sound or not. So basically it just puts a little alert whenever you choose. So mine is set at 15 minutes. So every 15 minutes on my Google Chrome, it'll say, hey, fix your posture. And it'll remind me to stop going like this and like this instead. So I think that is really helpful to just help your body out whenever you're being productive. Another fun one that I found is called Days Until, I think, and it basically allows you to make a countdown on your Google Chrome so you can go click the countdown whenever you need a reminder or just have it up there at the top of how many days are until a certain event. So for me, I have the countdown currently going for the days until my big surprise comes out, um, which is April 8th. So that helps me stay productive by reminding me, okay, I have seven days until this thing that I have to prepare for. So I have seven days to do everything that I need to do in order to have it ready for April 8th, basically. So you can do it for big exams and stuff like that to motivate you to study or plan out your week and stuff like that. Another really cool one is called MyBib and this is especially helpful for students if you have to write papers and stuff for some classes. Basically, it's a Chrome extension where if you're on an article or website or video or whatever that you need to get cited, you just go up, click the little extension and it let you like choose between all of the different formats that you need. Click whichever one you want and then it finds all the citation information for you. You can even go in and edit if any of it was wrong and then copy it and paste it into your Word document or whatever you're working on. So I think that one is really cool. I will definitely be using that this week when I have to write an annotated bibliography. So I think it's really nice. As promised, I did say that I would show you at the end of this how to customize your Google Chrome and make it look all cute. This is how you can do it if you don't have the angry study helper or momentum or any other like Google Chrome screensavers on your um, Google Chrome. So this is just how you can add pictures and colors and make tabs and stuff. So we're gonna be talking about all that. So I'm going to flip over to a screen recording to show you how to do that. Starting off, here is what my Google Chrome looks like. And I'll show you how you can do this and more. You first off, just obviously there's a little button about customize. So just click on that and you can choose a color and theme. So right now I have this one. This one looks really cute. Um, wow, so you can pick that based on whatever colors you like. I'm going to keep it with this one though. Um, and then the background right now, I don't have one, but we should put one. We're going to go over to my website and we are going to find one of my free MacBook screensavers because that'll be the right size. And let's pick one of these. This one's really cute. Okay, so we need to download this. Chrome. Okay. I'll save it to our desktop. So then we're going to go back onto our Chrome and click customize, upload from device, and we're gonna find it on my desktop, open, and there we have it, a really cute little collage. You can also find pictures off Pinterest and other things like that. I also show you how to create your own collage in my MacBook customization video right here. 
this one. It'll show you how to make your own collage if you were wondering how to do that. So then another little fun thing that I want to show you how to do are these little tab groups. Basically, Google Chrome rolled out this thing where you can put all your tabs into little groups, obviously. <laughs> okay, so let's make a group. I don't really know what to make, so I'm just gonna put my website a couple times. We'll just do that. Okay, and then, so we're gonna make a group of all these. So we're going to right click on a tab, add to tab group, and new group. And then I like to start mine off with an emoji, so you can do that by clicking control command spacebar to pop up your emojis. And then finding one, and we'll put Julia K. Christ, I guess. <laughs> and then emoji again. And then you have all these really cute colors to pick from. I mean, I mean, I guess only a couple of them are cute. I wish that you could pick your own colors. Um, we'll go with this one though. I think it'd be cute to honestly make them all gray. That would look really slick too, but obviously can't do that. Um, so then once you have the tab group, you just click and put it all the other ones in there and just drag them on in. So then you can click and close them. But the way that Google Chrome is working with this is you can't close all three of them at the same time. You have to have always one open. So. This one's open right now. If you have any other Chrome extensions that you find really helpful, go ahead and leave those in the comments to help me and other people that are watching this video out. Also, don't forget to subscribe and like this video to help me out. And that's it. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.